new archers are finally out, and let me just say that Zyna especially is so broken and so good. I think she will be a definite meta definer, while Margaret seems to add a new element to the archer playstyle. So in this video, we'll be breaking down the skills, giving you my thoughts on them, how good they'll be, how good their pairings are going to be, and what you can do with them. What is up guys, Meower here, back with a brand new Call of Dragons video. So, the new update just hit, and with it comes the brand new commanders, Zyda and Magret. But before we break them down, what I think the best bearings will be for them and everything, be sure to hit the, the like button and smash that subscribe, so you can keep up with the upcoming videos that I'll be making about those new commanders, and of course, the new warped system. So, starting off, let's just go and visit the new commanders, take a look at their skills, let's start with Magret, because she brings a brand new mechanic to the game, which is very beautiful healing so they are all both of them don't have a rage skill sort of like the tohar approach that they both have passive skills now i think that will be the design philosophy going forward for g3 commanders maybe they have the g3 tag here as well so of course we're going to start seeing them from next season in sob2 so starting off margaret's sort of rage skill reads as follows. It's Peach Stream. It's a passive skill. Margaret's Legion gains Variable Healing. Variable Healing is a brand new mechanic that increases the healing rate of your healing skills in a way that the more units you defeat, the higher their levels, the higher your healing rate. I'm not really sure what that means, to be honest, since there is a 5% healing rate as stated here. We'll have to see it in practice since it is a brand new mechanic. But moving on, whenever they deal normal attack damage, you gain one stack. And every five stacks you gain, you deal 250% more damage. Unless it's not really stacks. It says here, when variable healing has been triggered five times, their next normal attack deals 250%. More damage, scaling all the way up to 450 and then 500% once you get that awakened skill. Variable healing can be triggered once every one second, so I'm guessing every time you kill something, you get a healing percentage. I'm not really sure the exact percentages are. I'll probably ask CS and update you guys when I go on to a Margaret specific guide. By the way, she is basically the female gremlin from the Gremlins movie. <laughs> But anyway, her second skill, Truth Teller, it's also a passive skill. Whenever Margaret's Legion gains healing or healing variable, or valuable healing, they have a 30% chance to gain 20% attack for 3 seconds. Pretty straightforward. Uh, and then her third skill is just a passive stat boost. Spores Tuper, I think that's how it's pronounced. All marksman units in Mar Margaret's Legion deals 5% more normal attack damage and gain 5% more HP, scaling all the way up to 15% and 20% HP. This scales all the way up to 40% as well, so pretty nice, pretty decent. And of course, her last skill, which is her garrison, which I'm loving keeping the garrison or the rally skills at the last slot, so that way you can guarantee yourself a 5551 commander in case you don't want to awaken her, and I think she's a bit like Goresh in that sense, that you don't really need to awaken her. But she's still perfect at 5551. And if you do need to decide to awaken her, you can check out what you gain when you do. Because when you do awaken her, uh, every fifth auto attack will deal 500% more damage and then 450%, which is pretty nice. But the thing is that I have with Margaret is that she doesn't really have any steroids to capitalize on that extra damage boost. So. In a way, I think she'll be pretty good, but she won't be as top tier or as broken as our next commander that we'll be taking a look at, which is Zyda. And let me just say, I th absolutely think Zyda is extremely disgusting and extremely broken, and I'll break down why. So, Zyda's skill is she's a marksman PvP mobility, she'll probably be a deputy since she doesn't have the precision tree, but... Moving on, her first skill reads, Zyda's Legion deals normal attack damage, they de they gain one stack of Dawn Watcher's Mark for 5 seconds, up to 10%, 10 stacks, maximum of one stack every second. So, automatically, Syndrome's double attack will not synergize with her that well, 
unless you are fully stacked that way your both of your normal attack damages will be dealing upwards of 80 percent normal attack damage which is pretty insane and she'll also be getting 20 percent march speed bonus bonus once she is fully stacked out so you can definitely kite with her extremely well i think this skill is already incredibly strong and the rest of her skit synergizes with her skill pretty well so next up decisive duel when Zyda's Legion reaches maximum amount of Dawn Marcus mark, mark stacks, they deal 4% more damage and receive 5% more healing, which scales up to 20% and 10%, so pretty strong overall. So you're looking at an 80% attack damage steroid along with a 10% overall all damage steroid. So all in all, incredibly strong so far, and the extra healing synergize as well with Margaret in case you do decide to pair her with Margaret. But I think Zyda is far more flexible than being trapped in a Margaret pairing, which is something I really like, unlike Tomahar and Bert that are pretty much made for each other. All marksman units in Zyda's Legion gain 10% physical attack and 4% march speed, so even more march speed, so you're looking at a 30% march speed steroid from Zyda alone, along with 10% damage, 80% normal attack damage, and 30% physical attack damage boost. So incredibly strong kit, like really, really strong. I like her a lot already. Zyda's Legion deals normal attack damage. They have a 25% to gain normal attack focus, increasing their normal attack crit rate by upwards of 25%. And her Awakened skill, she gains three stacks of Dawnwars more upon entering the battle. So overall i think she is incredibly broken and incredibly versatile that she just has so many pairings but personally i believe she will be paired best with husk so husk zyda followed by um syndrome zyda and of course margaret zyda as for margaret i don't know who she's good with or who she's gonna be paired with to be honest i think her most viable pairing would of course be uh, Zyda since she has that attack steroid for her and for Margaret but I don't know to be honest how strong this pairing is gonna be I'll have to test out Margaret but I still believe for now she will be perfect at 5551 and Zyda is pretty much gonna be a must awaken do note Margaret is the SLE hero and Zyda is gonna be the real hero so already she is much easier to awaken than margaret unless you're a big whale and of course we'll have to wait and see the new artifact to see how good it really is but i'm pretty sure since its name is gonna be the gilded crossbow it's gonna be perfectly synergizable with zyda than margaret herself plus margaret is a garrison archer and well with the current meta of rallies and everything she's not gonna survive <laughs> a rally from either cavalry or other archers or anything same case pretty much as stohar because stohar cannot survive against the cavalry or a syndrome fragar or whatever rally meta there is at the moment so all in all, I'm pretty excited for Margaret and pretty excited for Zyda. I will definitely be awakening Zyda, maybe after her first wheel or even her second wheel, depending on my next season and how much of a, um, in a rush I am to get her up. I already have the tokens and I'll probably start buying the Universal uh, the G3 tokens as soon as it's out again. Start collecting heads because I do want to max out my commanders and be in tip-top shape. But that's it for the new commanders. Of course, the warpet for Zyda will definitely be 100% the Nitroc, and the warpet for um, what's her face, Margaret. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it's also going to be the Nitroc, but we'll have to wait and see and see what people end up cooking for the meta for these two commanders. Let me know what you guys think about them in the comments down below. Of course, if you want to see them, go to settings. Go to emoji, scroll down, click any of them, and then click the go button. It will showcase the heroes and everything here. But of course, you can get them from here, and it, they will also show up in the wheel of destiny at the start of a season. So, do you like them? Do you not like them? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, that is it for my thoughts on them. They will definitely be meta changers. At least Zyda will be an extremely strong meta changer. An extremely solid march for you 
for any archer main really and even non-archer main she's extremely versatile extremely strong definitely gonna be a game changer as for margaret we'll have to test her out and see but on that note thank you so much for watching if you like content like this please of course be sure to drop a like don't forget to subscribe join the discord the link is in the description and i will see you in the next video meow meow